Hello and welcome to week 26 of Roleplay Solo. My name is Jay McDaniel, joined by the rest of the crew. It's time to find out what everyone has been up to. Ryan, we'll start with you. What's been going on in Ryan Town? Uh, I've been doing the same things I always do, which recently has been Battle Royale. So I've been playing a lot of that. Nope, just the one he time. Not. He is not. I've won <laughs> five times since he has won. Damn. Yeah, JP gets a lot of wins somehow. <laughs> I think he plays during the day when the less good players are I've on. I've also I ran over Ryan with a car. <laughs> so, I mean. The, the run over with the car, like, we both put a video out from our own POVs. And. Hold on. Let me, let me just make sure everyone understands your POV here. One sec. Just what wait. the fuck? Yep. Okay. We got your POV of you screaming, what the yep. fuck? My, Please my continue. POV, you come out of literally nowhere. And your POV, like, I don't think you re I mean, you could see me, but I don't think you did. But I you ran me over you. anyway. And it was pretty, uh, it was very entertaining, to say the least. But yeah. And then you died in a, a blaze of glory, right? After I didn't that. care at that point. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> mission accomplished. It was quite entertaining. The mission was accomplished, yeah. Yeah. So that's what I've been up to. Cool. Nothing, just battle royale. Preparing for my thirtieth birthday, you know. When it, that's the, is that this week? Uh, next week. Next a week, week from a week from tomorrow. What is that? The fifth. The second. The second. I was math is really bad. Cool. Well, we'll have to maybe do a show or something on the second. Are you gonna do a birthday stream or anything like that? I'll probably do a little birthday stream, like celebrate with my friends and family that weekend, and then birthday stream on the actual day or something. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. I'm sure a lot of people will be tuning in for that. Neil, actually, you're chewing. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, what's been going on with you? Not much, man. Uh, just been streaming StarCraft 2 when I'm available to do that. It's been really productive. Just a shout out to you for hosting. Thank you for that. And and uh, everyone's just been awesome. It's, you know, I'm uh, really really enjoying streaming right now it's a lot of fun i still do i know a lot of people asking I, I put it out there i still do want to do battle royale i still want to play those horror games it's gonna happen just uh this past weekend i was gone i was at lake shasta which i live three hours away from didn't know that um it's really interesting there's a drought in california which everyone knows about on some level but that was the first time i had seen it yeah how the low lake, was the lake level Ooh, it was weird it was that it was a uh, it was at minus 150 feet i think is what it is that's a so lot when, holy shit yeah, so when I say minus 150 feet, from one point, or I think it's, uh, I think the entire lake, I'm going to pull this number out of my ass, you guys can Google it, it's something like 165 square miles of, of beach, Yeah. to give you an idea of how big this lake is, so the entire lake is down 150 feet, um, which That's is the nuts, most, since, yeah, it's the most since 1977. Could you even get on the lake, like, were any of the boat ramps even working to, like, oh, yeah. drop a boat? They all just sink with it. They just sink with it. And, most of those uh, boat ramps only go down a certain distance. I, I we used to have a lake house, and the same thing happened there, where we just they're ready do for anything. it. Yeah, yeah, they're they're ready for it. I mean, I guess in 1977 it was down 290 feet, uh, which is the lowest it's ever been. Um, I think again, some, someone's like, actually, I'm from Shasta, and none of these numbers. Yeah, <laughs> but it's about that, you know. So it was kind of it was fun. I was out in the sun, getting my nerd tan on. Uh, Anna's an an actual phenomenal like water sport person so it's cool to see that but she was getting a little bit cocky she's like jumping over wakeboarding we're all like woo go Anna then she went boom <laughs> face first it? into the water uh. oh yeah so today she woke up with like a and like was walking around like a champion boxer or something like that so was her face was all funny. bruised and stuff or is she okay no nah. oh, okay she's, she's fine okay she's fine she's just body whiplash type of thing gotcha uh, and in the near future, I'm ex I'm excited to hear about you guys going to PAX. I won't be there, but PAX is always awesome. Yeah, is anyone? Else? I know uh, Jeff, you're not going. Neil, you're not going, nope. right? I, I might go. You might go. Ryan, if I win this week's challenge in Intel, I'll go. Okay, Ryan, you're not going, right? No. Jen, are you going to be there with Ubisoft? Yeah. Nope. Well, nope. Okay, yeah, I guess I'm the only one with Neil a maybe right now. Uh, well, like Wheats, there's going to be some other roles. Oh no, they, I mean, there's a Maggie. lot of other. For, yeah, yeah. Maggie's going to be there. there. Steven will not be there. Jesse oh, will be there from R and D, or at least this current season. Uh, Wheat, like you said. No, Adam. Adam will be there. Yeah, he's he's oh, the cool. host of the panel on Sunday that we're doing. Uh, I'm jealous. You got to tell. You got to. I here. My guess. You want is us to Adam's rub beards and send you a picture? Yes. I met him. I met him at the at Pax East. Actually, he was there. That's where I originally met Adam. Was at Pax East with the one that you were at. 
Oh, fuck. Yeah. Uh, who was it? I think it was Steven that introduced us. And I didn't meet him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I look forward to it. He's an awesome guy. He is. Um, I'm going to be at Washington, D.C. for a Warhammer tournament. So that'll be the, that's my next big thing. It's uh, called the Nova Open. It's one of the most competitive ones, taking my nids, of course. And that's it for me. I'll be streaming the next couple of days. Awesome stuff. When do you uh, leave and get back for that? I leave Thursday and I get back early, early Monday. So we'll return. Well, <laughs> we'll return to a normal schedule, except that I'm also leaving Wednesday late at night for the Seahawk game. Oh. Then I'll be back really early Friday morning. So just Wednesday That's night. I'll be done. Yeah. Cool. Cool. All right, Neil, now you don't have food in your mouth. What's been going on with you the past week, man? Uh, Intel, man. Intel challenge over and over and over. Yeah. That's all. I saw yeah. you like, I got a message on my phone as I was uh, falling asleep last night, at, like 3 a.m. It's like, Chloe Boo now streaming. Yeah. What the, f who starts Strategy. to stream at 3 a.m.? <laughs> if me, if you want to win. Wait, I, oh, oh, oh so the goal, okay. The Go, challenge is that makes it's a chat sense. combo challenge. You're supposed to cha uh, combo the same phrase over and over and over again in oh, chat really? without being interrupted. Avoiding. So oh. if I'm trying to stream mostly in the evenings and at night, well, mostly at night and early morning, so that way any Smart. of the people who would come and try and sabotage me are sleeping. Although, mm -hmm. there is a fatal flaw in your plan, Neil. There are many fatal flaws in my the plan. The fatal flaw is that you... No, you told it. You allowed for the most chance of Europeans to show up, and they will fuck you up now. Oh, they just no. want to see the burn. <laughs> no, yeah. no. The Euro I, most, the I would European say about 40% of my viewers are European. I have a, a pretty strong everything. European representation. That does explain a lot. But oh. don't I, trolls love staying up at, until 3 a.m.? Maybe. It's their favorite time of night. At least for no, the people, all the real, by the way, for the people that ready. don't follow this, this online competition... Neil is the bad boy. Neil is. is the center of drama every yep. week. Koi bot, Un man. Okay. He's evil Unfairly and the center of drama. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree. It's so well God, in Intel doing. that I get accused of cheating every day. I like they that. I'm doing like that well that people think it's uh, that yep. people think I'm cheating. That people think I've bought and paid for the judges. We didn't pay for him. They're just like really good friends of yours. So that has nothing to do with you. <laughs> and yet he's only I, been voted once. It's not money. Yeah. It's just love. <laughs> yeah. No, they they only. I think Jeff is the only person to ever vote for me, and only once. And no. you fucking deserve it. You did a hundred and twenty hours straight. <laughs> Thank you. Nope. You're showing your bias, Jeff. That's too much bias. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. I have no problem. You, you'll yeah. know I'm buying and paying for votes when I give Jeff plate mail. There to be go. honest, if anything, like uh, I, I can, I'm actually pretty proud of how I'm pretty damn subjective with things. But of course, Neil and I are very good friends. So if there was a bias, it would be for him. But I'm actually the kind of guy, and, and that, this isn't a great thing to admit. But objective? if anything, it's probably harder for Neil. Actually, like probably does because I'm his friend, I judge him harder. Actually, that's I'm, I've gotten that from all of you. The fact that of my friends, no one's voted for me except for once. I, I, I pick up on. Yeah, <laughs> and that's why we were met with legit, a side quest last week. Thanks, Jeff. That's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. It's great, and it's going yeah. really well. And I'm super excited. And I still think we're going to win this week. And then I'll go to PAX, and then I'll beat whatever challenge there is there. And then I'll be in the final two and lose to Al Capone. Aww. Well, I mean that's the standard path so for anyone how, right now. <laughs> how is the very last like I don't know. Win, no, like, no one knows. Final two. I, Jeff I probably doesn't even know. Oh, you guys don't. I don't think okay. the judges are privy to the until it's yeah. unveiled on the show. Yeah, that's as one of the funniest as... things about it is we know we know like nothing, but we get these messages from people who are like your idea of a competition this week was fucking terrible, and I'm yeah. like, all right. Well, that, yeah. that's that's the worst. Like I criticize it a lot, very openly on Twitter, but I'm always making sure to like leave you guys out of it and yeah. just talk about like the competition because you guys have no fucking say. In... All right, guys, this week I've got a really good idea. <laughs> Jeff has created everything in terms of all the, the goals each week. So just yell at him. Just yell at him. You know anything else besides streaming at 3 a.m.? Um, uh, my fiance and half the roommates in my house, half the other roommates in my house are gone to Burning Man, which leaves ah. me here by myself. And you are not going to that. Yeah, why didn't you go? This? No. You went last year, didn't you? No, I went the year before that and two years before that. Um, I, I'm not going because I'm staying here to do Intel. If I had, oh, that's uh, right. If I had lost, I would have left. Uh, right. Ezekiel lost, and then yeah, he went Ezekiel instead. Lost. Yeah. Yeah. That was an awesome tweet by him. Yeah. He went, I know where guys. I'm going to Burning Man. <laughs> yeah. He's like, we lost, guys. Good run, everyone. I'll see you at Burning Man. Bye. And he just, <laughs> yep. we haven't seen him. So he's having a good time. Cool. 
Uh, well, last but not least, Jen, what have you been up to the past week? Ah, uh, it's mildly interesting. We launched a Rainbow Six subreddit, which is awesome. I love Reddit, so I was excited about that. Go check it out. Reddit.com slash Rainbow Six. Uh, besides that, I've been playing a lot of Dota, trying to get better, doing the climb. Uh, and in the not so interesting stuff, I don't know, I've been stepping it up with my life. I've been cooking. Well, it started really? yesterday, so it's been one day, but <laughs> I cooked a lot. <laughs> you tipped so that. <laughs> I made like I made salmon in the oven, but it was like a long process with like some sauce and stuff that I made myself. And I made artichokes. Like who makes artichokes? I don't we know. Didn't make artichokes, but you, you but boiled, like, I cooked I them and yeah, I boiled them yeah. and make them rest for the night and shit like that. And I made some sauce for it. I'm I'm doing progress and I'm considering starting to run on Saturdays. That's insane because oh. I never move except to walk to work. But it's like as far as I go a lot of work so, yeah. at one time yeah, I might... start doing that shit too. you would you should uh steven is actually uh from from our or you know him i guess he's been on misclick yeah uh he cooks a lot you should actually meet up with steven and have him co- tell you like how to cook he's actually really good he could probably hmm. teach you a lot the whole running thing he's probably not a running partner i don't know if there's any hope for that but the cooking process he could definitely help out <laughs> Maybe soon i'll be dish. cooking some squirrels too there you go. You're going to go kill squirrel. It's all in the hands. What's your IRL Yeah, that's Ferret all it is. Jerky. Ferret jerky. Ferret jerky and squirrel stew. They probably eat squirrel in Montreal, probably. Right? No. Probably. It's a delicacy. I mean, it's a, you guys eat some... Can't you get horse there? Yeah. Yeah. You but not horse. squirrel. Squirrel, I, th- I would put squirrel on a more... On a higher thing than horse. On a higher ladder. <laughs> Why? I think I think Amer- I mean, North American ground squirrel is the most height. German infested like rodent on the <laughs> continent. I think, but horses rats horses carry the bubonic plague. Horses are worse. <laughs> horses have a lot of diseases and stuff, man. <laughs> so you'd rather eat a squirrel than a horse, is what you're saying? Yeah, probably. Wow. I think I'd probably eat the ho- horse. Something about state of the I game. We, we just fucking hated horses from that show. Yeah. True. Oh god, if I did a cooking live stream, that would be a mess. I keep like throwing stuff, like my kitchen's a mess, I burn <clears> myself. <throat> yeah, it would be good actually. So Jen, have you ever <laughs> said, I'm so hungry I could eat a horse and then you did? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually the name of the biggest horse restaurant in Montreal. That's I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. That's, That's amazing. It. That's where you go. Or in uh, the north. It should be named Montreal. that, to be honest, though. Jeff, you want to open up a horse restaurant in, in Montreal? I do. Let's just, as long as we can get more horses into that form. Yeah. Exactly. We'll do it. That's the next big uh, investment for EG. Mm-hmm. Opening up. I'm so hungry I could eat a horse. Neil, save us. Let's play role play. <laughs> All right. Let's do role play. So, where last we left off, you guys were in a crypt in a graveyard in a city that had been closed down. You're in Port Ta- Tyler. 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 Um, the whole city's been on lockdown because the Duke's daughter has gone missing. I need to find my notes. I don't know why I don't have them open. Oh, how much XP did we get for last week? Any? Um, uh, you're, we, we haven't done it yet. We'll do it at the end of the round, at okay. the end of this week. That's what I we'll figured. All together. Um, and last we left off, I actually have it written down exactly. Uh, you were in this, this crypt that had... Uh, Jen, what's your character's name these days? Leia? Leia. Leia had found via use of her detect hidden passages stuff, and uh, you spent some time in there, and you've just now recently discovered a new passage that Victorian is chiseling his way through. Yeah. Uh, when a voice came from above the crypt, what are you doing down there? How dare you disturb the dead? Yeah. Oh, that's right. And then I cast invisibility on myself. <laughs> Boom, you're invisible. Uh, can we see any, any one coming down the, the hole? No one's coming stuff? down the stairs. Um, you move over to take a look up the staircase, but you sit and you can see a guy standing at the top, looking down the staircase at you guys with the hands on his hips. Very I mean, cross. You can't just see us like that, right? There was like two doors that we went in and we went down like a really no, long it's like hallway. A straight staircase. You can just and see then us? It's in a small room. There's nothing else. It, it was literally just a staircase and then a room. Oh, and I'm okay. in ghost form too, aren't I? You're in Wraith. Uh, no, that was 
No, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, the, yeah, that's why I'm we'll pounding on the wall. Last. Uh, <clears throat> right. Let's see how long it lasts. Hold on. One because second. there was you did wraith form and then it didn't work and then Jen ran and got a chisel for Victorian. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'm looking like... it up. Wraith form two rounds a level and I'm seven. No, I'm eight. Right. I think you are I, it's, eight. It's 14 rounds or something okay. like that. 16 so or 14 minutes. So it's been more than 14 minutes since you cast it. Okay, yeah. so I don't, I'm not in it. That's all that matters. Yeah. <clears throat> I, uh, I kind of like wipe my brow from the sweat because I've been smashing this wall for a couple of minutes, and I go over there and I say, um, I don't really have an excuse. <laughs> well, at least you're honest. Now get the hell out of there. And who are you? My name is Riktar, and this is the grave of my great-great-grandfather. Who might... I, I start to kind of come up. I say, hang on, I'd, I'd like to talk with you. Okay. He takes a few steps back to allow you to get up, and he's standing there, hands on his hips, wearing just some you know brown leather pants and a red shirt. He's got his eyes glaring at you, and he moves his hands to his uh, cross across his chest. I say I can understand that you're upset that we are disturbing your father's crypt, and I do apologize for that. We're investigating the Duke's daughter's disappearance, uh, and we've been led to this grave as kind of a p potential spot for something to investigate. Uh, who was your father, by the way? He gives the name that was on the tomb that I said a long time ago and forgot already. Well, what I mean is, what was he? It seems like he was an, a man of some import. He was the first great ruler of this city he brought us out of poverty made us the one of the trading capitals on the lake and and really just he did a great many things a long long time ago he's your father correct so not that long great ago, grandfather oh great grandfather i understand okay um is it safe to assume then that these secret passages are just some of his what's, riches what's secret passages Yes, we found secret passages in your father, in your great grandfather's crypt. Uh, you kind of notice him start to sweat, and his face goes a little bit pale when you say this. Whatever is in my great grandfather's tomb is no concern of yours. Please, out. You too, he says, pointing down at JP, who's like looking up the staircase still. Uh, is this your doing down here? Did you make this uh, the sacrificial circle? Whatever my great-grandfather wanted in his tomb is what's in the tomb, and no one is supposed to be in there. Well, see, that's where you're wrong, friend. We found what seems to be the makings of a spell, and as we are under the charge of the Duke Magic to investigate this. Exactly. So we now, this is the scene of a crime, basically. No crime has been committed here. There's a magic spell, a uh, circle. This is an ancient tomb from long before magic was banned. Did, did you make this? He glares at you. Well, we have to investigate it, friend. We're looking into the disappearance of his daughter. I'm sure that has nothing to do with this. <clears throat> well, you understand we can't just take your word for that. You can be here with us while we investigate if you like. Make sure that nothing is disturbed. I'm going to go speak to the Duke about this, he says, and he turns around and Let storms. him know that Zesty Zanzel is uh, investigating down here. He'll know. Okay. okay. Um, I go back down and kind of shrug. Then I guess and I say, uh, "Leah, do you want to do you want to post watch out there and make sure there's no trouble coming our way that we'll get pinned down here from? Is that okay? Can you find a hiding spot to kind of yeah, look out?" Yeah, I guess I'll I'll make a noise like a which kind of noise you guys want is oh 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 oh. Find that'll work. Guys. That's an excellent sound. I and think no bird will yeah no one will know that that's a bird <laughs> or isn't a bird. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zanzel, do you still have the ability to become whispery? If uh, we, uh... Well, uh, no. Only, only oh. once per day. I, I can't. All right. I, then we're just going to have to muscle our way through this. We could use that old elbow grease and uh, you know, knock the wall down. Yep, that's what I'm going to have to do. I'll so, Neil, I, just, I continue to pummel the, the, the work that I put into the wall then. Okay. Um... <clears throat> Give me a strength check, Victorian. I knew you were going to say that. Okay. Shut up. Whoops. 
Uh, 16, so d20 plus 16, 26. Okay. Hold on, chat. Go ahead. Uh, you see, so you're hammering your way through this sucker, and about 15 minutes later, you break through a, a corner of it all the way in. You can't quite get inside, but you can look in. It's dark on the other side, and you can reach in. But uh, you can get you can get about your up to your elbow. Your bicep is a little bit too big to fit in the hole. But you've broken through to the other side. Can uh, someone get some light in here? I want to see what we're looking, we're dealing with here. I think we had to light it up something. Leah, I can't better. hear you. You're bad. Yeah, no, but I'm just saying. I think we had an item that was lit up. Yeah, and you went to bed and it wore off. Oh, really? It's not yeah, it was yesterday. Forever? No, unless Today it's a continual light spell. Nope. All right, I learned. Zanzel, do you have the ability to make any light? Tariq? <clears throat> I certainly do not. Hmm. So since I've... You're, you're muted, JP. Punched in a corner, I just continue to hammer away at the break then to make it wider. Uh, aren't those torches in your backpack, Victorian? I believe so. I take one out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm oh, glad I'm here. We go. I definitely am the brains of this operation. <laughs> do you actually have torches in your backpack? See... I'm pretty sure you do on your old character sheet, but I know you lost it. Yeah. I wrote down most of everything that I had. It might have been on the horse, though, and on that I did not write almost anything. But I don't have the horse with me, so I wouldn't have him, I guess. Right. Okay. So I don't think we'll, I have we'll any. Stick... Okay. But we we did create light down here somehow, right? Uh, someone had cast a light spell, spell on a stick. Well, where's that? It doesn't It doesn't uh, last forever. Yeah. It's uh, like an eight-hour duration. And it... It went out when you guys were sleeping. Because remember, mm -hmm. we slept here to like wait to see if someone came down. Okay. Wait, if we Did you slept, have no way of I making light, Zanzel? I guess if we slept, then I have all my new spells, right, Neil? Yeah. I cast the Wraith Form before we slept, right? No, 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 you cast Wraith Form after you woke up, when you guys were about to leave the tomb, and then Jed's like, hold on, let me check for secret passages. And then she found a secret passage, and you tried mm -hmm. to Wraith Form through it, but it, was, it didn't... Is there is it a moony? Is there a lot of moon tonight? It's the morning. It's daytime. daytime. It's daytime. So we should the the doors open. The guy saw us. So shouldn't the light be coming down into the? Yeah, yeah, there's there's light coming down into this room where you can see, but through the hole where Victorian is, it's like such a small hole in a corner that there's not enough light to really see anything on the inside. You look in and it's just. Let's just make the hole bigger then. Yeah, yeah I just continue to chip away. <clears> the as they're doing this, I walk up the stairs and like look around are there any merchants or anything like that we're in a graveyard oh, yeah it's we're in a graveyard. graveyard yeah do i see uh the gravekeeper walking around um you walk up to the surface and start looking out for the gravekeeper he is in fact nearby um uh, hey he sees you coming out of the tomb and starts <clears throat> jogging over to you hey uh hey hello how's how's the morning going Good, good. What what are you doing down in that tomb? We're we're investigating uh, stuff on on the Duke's authority. Say, do you have a torch or any sort of lighting mechanism? I have some candles back in the shed, but what's going on here? That would be great. Can I have one or five? However many candles, maybe a lot. <laughs> you guys maybe are the guys lot. from last night, right? The people investigating the missing daughter. Th those are my friends. We have not met yet, actually, but uh, yes, I am with those people. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I can come with me. I'll, I'll get you some candles. Fair enough. And he starts right. walking back towards the church. All right, I go with him. Get the candles, and if there's nothing else that happens, I go back to the the tomb carrying the candles. Okay. Uh, ten minutes later, fifteen minutes later, you arrive with the candles. A Victorian has managed to open the hole large enough that he can get his whole arm through, but it is like a a piece of rock about this thick. So it takes a long time to chisel all that sure. shit out of the way. Um, you, After another ha a half hour passes and you've gotten to the point where you could get your arm through or you could maybe like stick your head in but you can't get your shoulders in yet. Um, well, by now and, he's back with the candles, right? Yeah, yeah, he's back with the candles uh, before then. We'd like to take a look in there. I think that's the sure. idea. That's, that's probably a wise decision. Um, looking in you see what looks to be a library. Great googly moogly. <laughs> I could read all of these books. No, you can't. You can't read. I can't read, no. But someday I plan on reading. That's I go over and, like, look at the 
uh, spines of the books. Neil, are there any names? Yeah. Me too. I want to check them out. Okay. Well, again, you can't fit in. You can fit your it's head just in. It's my arm that goes in. Guys. Oh, yeah. oh. Make this yeah, all actually, bigger. In a few minutes, time. he'll be able to fit his head in. Yeah, yeah. Let's make uh, him bigger. Gentlemen, I'll continue to work on this. Um, uh, do you allow the gravekeeper to come down in here with you? Because he, as you come back, Zanzel, he walks with you and just kind of like no, suit, I, like, I turn it. And then down. Like, ah, I'm, I'm sorry, we can't allow you in here. This is official Duke business. You, you know, you know. He frowns and stands up top, looking in, trying to like poke his head down and see what's Say, going on. Do you? He, uh, what, what is Victorian? What are you using to open this hole? My uh, blacksmith hammer and a chisel. Would, would a shovel or a like a ham or a a pick or something work better? Would it be more effective, Neil? Uh, a pick a, might help a little a bit. Pickaxe, yeah, a pick would help. if you had one, yeah. Yeah, it would help with some things, but no. I, I asked the gra uh, gravekeeper. Do you have a, a pickaxe or anything like that? You've been more than helpful. I'll make sure the Duke knows about your your good work. Of course, of course. He runs back to go find a pickaxe. Okay. And I we all um, just kind of stand around. Okay. So by the time that Victory can get his head in and really look about, like you, you drop a candle on the other side because you have a whole stack of them, um, and you you poke your head in far enough, you can see that this looks to be a workshop or a library for someone. It's a fairly large room. It's twenty feet by twenty feet. Mm. There's a, a column in the middle that helps hold it up. And there's a whole stack of books on one side. There's a big desk on another side that has lots of loose sheaf paper around. And there seems to be a small alchemical laboratory as well. Okay. I just keep trying to open up so at least Sansel could fit in, basically, okay. is probably the goal. Okay. So a few minutes later, you, uh, Leia, you see come, uh, coming across the graveyard that same person with the brown pants and red go, shirt go, 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 go. Keep going. followed <laughs> by a half dozen guards. Yeah, I walk up to the top. As, as I hear these noises, I start walking up to the ladder. And then I move away from that, the source of my noises with my elven boots so they'll never realize. As I hear this too, Neil, I put down the, I leave the hammer and the chisel and I go up as well. Uh, Tariq, mm -hmm. can you please continue? We'll, uh, we'll handle this. Okay. So he starts hammering away, and me and Victorian go up top. Okay. You guys uh, arrive up top, and the man says, That's them! That's them right there! They're defiling my grandfather's grave! I kind of just look and at Victorian and like, roll my eyes. He storms As they to kind of come towards me, I, yeah. I, I put my hands up, and I go, Gentlemen, gentlemen, this is a misunderstanding. We're here on the Duke's authority to investigate the disappearance of his daughter. One man steps forward. He looks different than the others. He's got uh, insignias of an officer on his shoulders. He says, we've just come from the Duke. Uh, the whole... Shit, what's his name again? Rick, 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 Rick. Rick, uh, Rick Tar has no. explained the situation. And we are confident that this is not... This has nothing to do with the disturbance of the missing daughter. I mean... There's signs an empty of a tomb, right? circle and secret chambers that lead to potentially a holding cell. Like, it doesn't get much more... Uh... A great many things used to happen in this town a long, long time ago. Most of them have been forgotten. There's no need to dredge up the past. I'll tell you what. Did the Duke say that he thinks we don't need to investigate here? Yes. We'll go down there. I'll close up what we did. We'll leave. It should just take an hour or two, and then we'll leave this spot alone. Does that sound okay? The officer looks to Riktar. Riktar shakes his head pretty seriously. And the officer says, no, no. Well, we'll leave the grave digger to deal with this. Riktar, what, up. what were you doing? Why, why did you come here this morning? Why, why did you get over here? How do you know about this? This is my great-grandfather's grave. He was an important man. I visit here frequently. For what reason? I could ask you the same thing. What were you doing in this graveyard? You were already investigating know that, the disappearance yeah. of What led Duke's you daughter? to this Do you spot? Have that was a really stupid thing to ears. say. <laughs> Rectar. Uh, I, think, I think you know more uh, about this than we do. Feel free to share why there's uh, magical c components down there in, in a circle that seems to have been used recently. I, I think this, uh, you've been here before. 